Bam! All right, guys, I couldn't resist not to take off my new Stetson hat. I am seriously turning into a real cowgirl, and I love it. I love my horse, I love this life, but I have a story. So we here in California are going through a heat wave, and we're not used to it. We're not used to it at all. People go outside and they are not minding their electrolytes. Myself, for example. So I know the symptoms of an electrolyte imbalance, especially on a hot day. A lot of you guys don't know it. Basically, I've been outside every day having this horse. Yesterday, I started feeling it a little bit, but then I forgot, you know, this little uh, inside. And I forgot, and then I go home, then today I'm out and I'm working like six hours outside in 110 degrees. And then I was like, oh, you know, I was drinking water with salt in it, and I've got my magnesium oil for where, when I'm there, just rub it on myself. And the nausea started growing, and I was like, okay, it's time to go. Jump in my car, I pass the traders, and what do I do? Boom, I get some avocado. And then I also got something that people might say no to, which is spinach. Now I haven't eaten spinach in a very long time, but it was needed today. Because people who do low carb diets lose water and minerals more easily than people who eat carbs, carbohydrate, which means your cells swell up with water and hold more minerals. It's not that that's better, it's just what happens. And when you're doing low carb diets, as long as I have, I learned very easily that you will lose those minerals, like boop, especially when it's hot. And the sensation of nausea started growing. It was like, mm -hmm. and I was like, uh oh, hey, out to the knot. So on my way home, I stopped at Trader's and I got the spinach and the avocado. And like within 30 minutes, nausea that was starting to grow, boom, gone in two seconds. Now you can eat spinach even though it's oxalate rich but not all the time seasonal right in the season you can eat yes spinach and then if you have problems with gout with oxalate dumping with joint pain or uh, your kidneys then you wouldn't eat that you would eat avocado for your potassium right because it's really important when you're sweating a lot to get the sodium potassium water balance but if you can't do avocado, you might have to do potassium citrate. And if you can't do citrate, you might have to do meat broth. And I say meat broth because bone broth has the oxalates and it has what? The glutamate, which gives people headaches. Meat broth has a good amount of potassium in it, cooked a certain way. So that's just a, a story, quick story for today. Uh, I just wanted to let you know I'm human. And I was out there working, working, sweating, working, drinking a lot of water, but I still felt nausea growing and growing and boom. And I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. So I went, stopped, got what I needed to get, even though I've been an avivore, which is an avocado carnivore for, I don't know, maybe it's been, I've been doing avocados for a year now. So the whole carnivore thing is maybe up to three years. I'm not really sure, but. I learned very quickly doing carnivore that if you don't stay on your electrolytes, you're done, you're finished, right? You don't get magnesium in, you can deny your heart of oxygen, uh, you'll swell like a balloon if you don't get that potassium in, and we all need to get our sodium. And water, two liters, two, three, especially on like today, I could have done three easy because I was sweating, sweating, sweating in 110 degrees. All right, guys, now I got to go, and I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day, even though California is a mess. If you want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com, Stephanie the Business Person on my Facebook fan page, Stephanie Ketogenic on my Instagram. I have a course, I do consultations, and I'm out. Deuces.